internships the one thing for which all the college students are so desperate and your first internship is another level feeling hey there this is akshit manan and welcome back to a new video and in this video we are going to talk about how i got my first internship at geeks for geeks in my second year we are going to talk about uh, how you can get it and what are the benefits who all can get this internship any particular tech stack that you need to learn and finally is it worthy to work as an intern for geeks for geeks जोर जोर से बोल के लोगों को स्कीमें बता दे सो आई बी कवरिंग ऑल दीज पॉइंट इन दिस वीडियो बट इफ यू डायरेक्टली वॉन्ट टू अपलाई फॉर इंटर्नशिप एट गीक्स फॉर गीक्स यू कैन चेक आउट द लिंक इन डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड यू कैन डायरेक्टली अपलाई सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग मोर टाइम लेट्स जम्प ऑन द मेन टॉपिक सो क्वेश्चन नंबर वन हाउ कैन यू गेट एन इंटर्नशिप एट गीक्स फॉर गीक्स एंड हाउ आई गॉट माई इंटर्नशिप सो बेसिकली आई स्टार्टेड माई यूट्यूब चैनल इन माई सेकंड सेमेस्टर ऑफ माई फर्स्ट ईयर एंड आई वॉज क्रिएटिंग कंटेंट रिलेटेड टू मशीन लर्निंग पाइथन डीप लर्निंग एंड ऑल दैट and you know that geeks for geeks is a company which every software engineer in india knows about and i also used to read uh, some blogs and some articles on geeks for geeks in my first year for the basics of uh, programming and suddenly i saw a line at the bottom of the geeks for geeks article that if you want to if and if you are good at content writing and content creation on youtube then you can apply uh, for an internship at geeks for geeks and this is the link so i found that link and i applied Uh, on that portal so basically they were asking for my resume and some my youtube link and whether i want to apply for content creation or content writing so i applied for content creation on youtube and i got my internship so they selected my resume they they also visited my youtube channel and they saw it they found it great they found my way of teaching uh, very well so what is the key point from all this so what you understand from this so the main understanding is that you should start building your portfolio even from the first year you should start showcasing it and if you know a skill don't restrict it to yourself start teaching to others on social media platforms youtube instagram linkedin so start creating content start showcasing your portfolio and even post it about on linkedin so that even the hrs of various companies will know that okay you are a guy you are a person you are a candidate and you are good at this skill and you are also teaching the skill to others so if you are good at making tutorials then start a youtube channel start teaching it if you are good at content writing and you think that from your writing you can make a person understand the topic then start creating blogs on medium on gfg or on start your own blog so this is the main understanding so how i got my internship i got my internship from my own work and if you think that you are also doing the same thing which i was doing then you can directly apply for the internship from the link in the description question number 2 who can get this internship should you be a college graduate or should you be a master of some skills no it's not like that they don't judge you on on your college year basis whether you are from first year second year third year final year or if you are a college graduate doesn't matter if you are good at content creation if you are good at a skill which they require for uh, spreading out the content they are building you are most welcome to apply for an internship and you can easily get it so basically they will just ask your resume so that they can see how good you are uh, creating a resume how good how good knowledge you are having about the corporate sector and they will also uh, ask you a link uh, whether you are blog links or your video links youtube link so basically they will see your work how you are currently doing for yourself because if you are not doing good for yourself then you will not be doing good for themselves also so this is the case so finally who can get it anyone can get it with a good skill question number 3 what are the benefits of working as a content creator intern at geeks for geeks so basically this internship is a little bit different from a software development intern at various companies so basically when you work as an sde or sdi uh, in some companies you are allotted some task and you have some monthly stipend right you have to complete those tasks there will be weekly stand ups there will be uh, daily stand ups right so you have to complete those tasks and they will give you a monthly stipend at the end of the month so basically in geeks for geeks your monthly stipend is not fixed it is based upon the number of content or number of videos number of blogs you are providing to them so they will there is a separate portal for you uh, for geeks for geeks if you get an internship you will be working on that portal then you have to submit your content on that portal only then they will review it and they will publish it if it is uh, finalized and if that content is published that means your content was good and then you get some amount for that content and that amount is not uh, like fixed it is dependent on your experience and it is also dependent on the amount of content and duration of the content so let's say you are creating a or you are writing a big blog the amount will be big for that if you are making a 1 hour video amount will be big for that if you are creating a 10 minutes video amount will be small for that so this is the case so in this case the benefit is that it will also depend on your work flexibility and how fast you are how efficient you are in creating your content in creating your work doing your work so this is only the benefit which i got if your exams are there 
don't submit content it's okay and when your exams are over then you can submit your content and you will get the money for that another benefit of working at geeks for geeks is the internship certificate but certificate you get from all the companies where you intern but for me it was a wonderful thing because i was learning a lot from geeks for geeks and now i got an opportunity to work at geeks for geeks and this was really a good thing and i'm pretty much sure that for you also if you are a student and if you are a college undergraduate for you also getting an internship certificate with a tag of geeks for geeks will be amazing thing right next question is any particular skill that you should be mastering or any particular tech stack that you should be good at basically it's not like that your tech stack does not matter whether you are good at ai ml web dev app dev blockchain then ds algo any particular programming language you should be master of that you should be at least at the intermediate stage of that right so and you should be creating content on that you should be writing blogs you should be creating videos on that topic so that geeks for geeks can review your content and they can offer you a internship role and in some cases geeks for geeks also calls you if they see your content suddenly and they find your content interesting then they can also approach you right so don't forget to mention your emails in your uh, uh, about of your youtube channels and your contact info under your blogs so it's mandatory right So final question is it worthy to work as a content creator intern at Geeks for Geeks definitely if you are seeking your career in content creation if you are seeking your career in online tutoring then definitely this is a great opportunity for you if you get an internship here amazing that's amazing thing and these are some of the videos which i created for Geeks for Geeks and the links are also mentioned in the description you can check those out and if you find it interesting like them and subscribe to their channel also my channel also so i hope you like this video if you want some more topics like this then you can mention in the comment section and i hope that this video has added some value to your engineering journey and if you like the content then you can like the video subscribe to my channel and till the next content keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot